So, looking for an alternative to Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb? Maybe an alternative to Creed Aventus? I mean, Creed Aventus? I mean, Aventus? 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 Okay, I think you catch my drift. Alright, so yes, there's already a thousand different ways that you can smell like Creed Aventus. But today I have two new fragrances from the house of North Stag coming out of Paris Corner. I've got Sept 7 and Hewitt number eight. So join me and let's talk about these cheaper alternatives to two popular fragrances. Cue that intro. What's going on my beautiful fragrance family? Hope each and every one of you are doing fantastic today and welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory. Right, so my apologies, I know it's been a few days since I have actually uh, got a video out but I've been dog sitting and been working and um, well, one job had to uh, go by the wayside, yeah. And that was YouTube. Yeah, I just have not had time to get any videos out. But I'm home today because my dad is actually just went into surgery. I just dropped him off at the surgery center. He's having carpal tunnel uh, surgery today. So thoughts and prayers out to him. Um, if you will, I would really appreciate that. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about North Stag. So I got two fragrances for you. I've actually been sitting on these for quite some time. Uh, to be quite frank with you, I just kind of forgot to put my reviews out there. So Paris Corner and Aroma Concepts reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review on these bad boys. But um, let's go ahead and break these bad boys down in today's Whiss and Sniffs. So like I said before, these are alternatives to Creed Aventus, which we'll start out with Sept 7. So beautiful presentation. These are Extract the Parfum. You can see on the back there, it's got all your information, Paris Corner. So uh, North Stag is their newest brand coming out of the house of Paris Corner. And Paris Corner does clones, alter you know, inspirations, alternatives, dupes, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do like this presentation. Open it up like so. Does come with a nice little card there that's got all your notes on it. 100 mLs. They are Extract the Parfum very hefty thick glass you have actually a really nice plastic like hefty plastic cap with a metal insert and really good atomizers we'll say this is actually a little bit more of an interesting take on that aventus dna and here's why top notes are going to be melon cucumber pineapple bergamot and black currant heart notes are patchouli jasmine sage and basil or as you like to say in the uk basil which is probably the proper way of saying it base notes are musk woody notes vanilla and ambergris as soon as i read that note breakdown i knew it was going to be aventus but it's a fruitier version of aventus it's almost as if it's aventus cologne now up top you do get that cucumber all right you do get that basil further into it and that sage it has a nice green spicy quality added in with that patchouli now i also get that melon so it's not just the pineapple, it's not just the bergamot, it's not just, you know, that kind of balsamic black currant. You're getting that melon, you're getting that cucumber. Now, what I really do enjoy about this fragrance, because as you know, I mean, there's a hundred different ways, thousands of different ways, maybe even millions of different ways of smelling like Aventus these days. I like the fruitier opening, and the opening is extremely easy on the nose. There's no harsh chemical like smell. And I've just realized that chemically is not actually a word. So there's no harsh chemical attributes right off the rip. Like right off the bat, it's smooth like a baby's butt. And it's smooth all the way through. You can tell that this is an extract de parfum. And you can kind of tell that they're using some higher quality uh, oils in this. Now further into the dry down of this, it really does become more of that uh, Aventus vibe. But it's almost more like a Aventus cologne a little bit. Um, you're not getting that orange like you do in Aventus Cologne because I believe that's Mandarin Orange. And I know a lot of you are like, well, there's no pineapple in Aventus Cologne. To me, to my nose, there's a touch of that pineapple left. Now, you definitely get that sweet vanilla. The jasmine plays a really nice supporting role with that green sage and basil. The patchouli is more on the woody side. And in the full dry down, it's a lot of just musks and woods. 
But here is the one thing with this being an extracta parfum. Really good projection within the first hour and a half, about two hours. Then it really does become a skin scent. I don't get the best longevity out of this, and it could just be my skin. Now, I get better longevity than I have before when sampling, because I've never owned a bottle of Ventus, but when I've worn a Ventus before, especially newer batches, I get about six to seven hours with uh, Sept 7, which is actually, it's good. Now, the difference between this and a lot of your other clones or dupes out there is just, like I said, it's extremely smooth. You can smell the quality of it. Now, is it the same quality as Creative Ventus? No, but it's still a lot higher quality than, say, Club de Nuit Intense Man. But I would say CDNIM is probably a lot closer to that Aventus DNA than this. This actually is more of like an inspiration. You're getting more fruity qualities, a little bit sweeter qualities from Sep 7. But all in all, this is a really good fragrance for only $70 for 100 ml. Get a high quality presentation that you could literally knock somebody out with. I mean, this is some super thick glass, but I like it. I actually wore this to work the other day and there was a gentleman who actually was wearing a Ventus and he thought I was wearing a Ventus. I get a ton of businessmen sitting at my bar from all over the US and guess what their favorite fragrance is? Yeah, that's right. Creed Aventus. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Creed Aventus, uh, Nishan A. Hachavat, or looking for a higher quality Mont Blanc Explorer, then look no further. Check out Norstag Sept 7. I don't know if they were going for like September 7th, but I think it's just Sept 7. Anyways. Okay, so next up we're going to do Hewitt 8. Now, I don't know if it's Huey or Hewitt, but we're going to go with Hewitt 8. Unlike the other one, this has nothing on the back. I think it was supposed to come with a sleeve, but it didn't. And just like the other bottle, it is super thick glass. Same type of cap. Both caps actually have the North Stag on the top. Thick cap. And again, really good atomizer. All right, so let's read the notes real quick. And to be honest with you, as soon as I read the notes of this one, I knew exactly what it was. Top notes, pink pepper, bergamot, lavender, and grapefruit. Heart notes, saffron, cinnamon, and, 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 and black pepper. Base notes, tobacco, vanilla, leather, and vetiver. So as I said in the very beginning of this video, this is an alternative, and actually I would say a straight up clone of Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb used to be one of my signature scents when it first came out. In fact, I still have an original bottle from the very you know, first release of Spice Bomb. Now this is a great alternative. I will say this, I don't understand why you would go ahead and dupe Spice Bomb. I mean, I, I guess because this is $70 for 100 ml, compared to, uh, you don't really find Spice Bomb or any Victor and Raw fragrances that discounted. So I guess this would be a cheaper alternative because you're getting 100 ml and you're getting an Extract de Parfum. I can't really account for the longevity and performance of newer batches of Spice Bomb, but my batch lasts all freaking day. I mean, it's a, it's a bomb. But let's talk about this. Right up top, you're gonna get a slight citrusy quality mixed in with that lavender and that pink pepper. And that pink pepper is adding kind of just a, a really nice sweet spiciness right up top. Again, there is no harsh medicinal smell. It's very smooth. It's smooth like butter. I mean, it's very easy on the nose. And to be honest with you, it is very stinking close to Spice Bomb through and through. Further into it, you definitely start getting that cinnamon, that black pepper, that saffron, and that those all you know that actually comes in quite quickly, just like it does in Spice Bomb. And further into the dry down, it's vanilla and tobacco. I don't get a whole lot of leather, maybe just a touch of leather, but I definitely get more of like a woody vetiver mixing in with that tobacco and also the vanilla. I think this is really good. Um, now, longevity is not as good as Sept 7. I'm just going to be honest there. I would say that I get about five hours longevity out of this. I get really good projection within the first hour, 
and then after that hour it really becomes a skin scent and it does not perform and project and, and, and really do what my batch of Spice Bomb does. But I think full retail, I guess, I think the Spice Bombs are their 90 mLs. Um, I think they're like 80, $85, $70, Extract the Parfum, 100 ml. Can also be utilized as a weapon. Sure, I mean, that's a good alternative. If it were me, honestly, I would just get Spice Bomb. But again, I can't really say, you know, what performance is on newer batches of Spice Bomb. With this, I would say five, maybe six hours on my skin. Good fragrance though, actually quite solid through and through. I would say this is 90% Spice Bomb. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, not much cheaper, but a cheaper alternative to Spice Bomb, definitely check out Hewitt 8 or Huey 8. Not really sure. I think it's Hewitt. But there it is, guys. I will say North Stag has a three-fur set that you can get. Yep, that's right. I said a three-fur. You get three bottles for $190. So that's 300 ml bottles for less than 200 bucks. Now, that is a steal. Now, I don't know what the other fragrance is, you know, in this lineup. And I don't know what it is a clone or dupe or inspiration of. But I will say, set seven, I probably will wear the most often i really enjoy the scent profile i love the fruity melon the nice like cool cucumber the the way the basil and sage is done in this um i will probably wear hewitt 8 just so that i do not actually you know run out of my vintage or original batch i guess it is vintage man i'm getting old vintage batch of spice bomb original I will leave Aroma Concepts for all you in the US or if you're in the UK, you can go check out Paris Corner, but I'll leave it all linked down below. They have hundreds upon hundreds of fragrances in their portfolio, so go check them out. Let me know what you think of North Stag fragrances. If you've tried any of their fragrances, let me know what you think of Paris Corner. Uh, but that is it for me. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And if you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.